Can we steal this ship? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And I'm out here doing some fitness, some running. I finally found a place to level up my fitness and get in better shape here in the residential district. A nice running path here. It's not too crowded. And I had to learn the hard way to get rid of all my oxygen is to not only deplete the oxygen bar but to fill the CO2 bar as well all right oxygen bar depleted now we have to fill the CO2 bar go. Finally, 20 times oxygen depletion. All right, Sarah, thank you for running with me. I feel like I'm ready to take on some pirates or something. So there, yeah, that took quite a bit of time to to level up fitness to uh, you know, 20 times. But hopefully it'll be worth it in the long run. Hey, what can I do for you? All right, let me sell off some of these uh, weapons and stuff. I don't think I'm going to use a Kraken. I wonder if, if there's a more powerful uh, cutter. I could probably use one. We might try this, uh, side star. All right. Like their owners, for decorating their ships with heat leech nests would be a nice touch. I think that's good for now. All right, let's go. Oh, Vasco, there you are. Captain Glad to have Hill. you. Hello. Hello. I am satisfied to see that you survived your most recent sleep cycle. Okay, I'm not sure what that means, but get on board, everybody. And prepare for liftoff. All right, we should have a talk. When you have the time, of course. Huh? Another talk? Alright, what is it? Thanks for taking time to chat. I... I really need a friendly ear right about now. I received a message from Constellation, and it's given me a lot to think about. Well, I hope it isn't bad news. Not at all. It's just a list of requests, but when you read between the lines, it's obvious my absence is causing issues. Hmm. Are you upset that I'm keeping you away from the lodge? You're not keeping me out here. I am. Just... Here, let me explain. Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps, until the UC decided to axe the department. Well, eight years isn't a bad run for anything government-related. Had we notched some significant achievements, I'd agree with you. You see, the top brass demanded press-worthy discoveries to justify the spending, and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. At the end of the day, I was in charge, so the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. It's ridiculous to accept all the blame. Oh, like hell I can't. 
You once told me that you favored the journey over the destination. So I'm hoping you'll understand what I'm trying to say. I failed because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. If I had fought harder, I'm convinced our division may have had a chance to prove its value. Hmm. Your division never had a single significant discovery. That depends on your definition of significant. Discover a rare neutron star, and no one cares. But slap a picture of a kooky alien life form on SSNN, and suddenly you're a goddamn rock star. It's all about the propaganda, what gets the people excited. That's what the United Colonies was focused on at the time. Well, no, no one would have pushed harder than you. That's just it, though. Did I push too hard? Did they shut us down because I wasn't quietly sitting at my desk approving meaningless memos? We'll never know. All right, well, I'm not sure what this is all about, but at least Constellation has been a great success. Well, that brings us to this message now, doesn't it? Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. <laughs> it's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority, but all I want to do is explore, not sit and make sure all the accounts are balanced. Well... I'm just going to say this. I'm going to put this out here. Maybe you should resign your position as chair and just explore. Oh, you have no idea how tempting that sounds. <sighs> but then dumping everything I've worked so hard to achieve. It's like I've wasted another decade of my life. <sighs> I can't do that. Ah, oh, so frustrating. All right, well, you're the one who wanted to talk. No, actually, I'm going to say don't worry, Sarah. We'll figure this out together. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Oh, here you are trying to help me, and I'm yelling at you. <laughs> you have to understand. Once Aja retired, I lost the only person that gave a damn. Well, I give a damn. Of course you do. I'm just not thinking straight right now. Phew, this has taken a lot out of me, so maybe we should just leave things right here. But thank you for being there and listening. It helped. It really did. Yes, now if we could get back to the mission, I can't believe you <laughs> are taking up all this time with your issues. All right, let me get some sleep here for an hour or two. Time to get back to the world, eh? Yes. All right, everyone. Vasco, Sarah, prepare for liftoff.
Start station L0868. You need the eye. Vladimir, it's us. to my crew position. Hello. Hello. You could have stayed on this ship, but it's all right. All right, sir. Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Black Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts? It matches one on another planet. A bigger one. All right, well now we're talking. Point me at him. All right, let me transfer over the data. But I need you wearing caution's boots for this one. No telling what this thing is or why it's so large. Going to send you the mark close as I can. But I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. All right. So do I need to search the whole planet for this thing? No. Just need to follow your scanner to the real destination. Might be a boot journey. But that's the explorer's lot sometimes. All right, so land near the anomaly. Use my scanner. Got it. And from there, maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. All right, Sarah. Let's get back to the ship. Vasco. Prepare for departure. I picked up something you might be interested in. Oh. You know, your, um, little discoveries and things are starting to come at inconvenient times. All right, we're about to undock. Discoveries and your conversations. I mean, we might have to stop putting these things on hold so we can actually get our mission accomplished. All right, what have we got out here? Pro Cyan. All right, we're headed back. Stand by for grab jump. the anomaly all right everyone here we go I say we uh, take a nap and then we can start our exploration. I 
a good sleep? I did. Um, what do we know about the atmosphere? This... this... I'll put the suit on. I mean, I, I really wish I could just tell there needs to be something that tells us the type of atmosphere that this planet has before we leave the ship. All right, come on. All right, so I'm gonna use the hand scanner and look for distortions. Follow the distortions to the source. Oh, good It's extremely cold. Captain Hill, greetings. Greetings. Are you coming with us? structure. that beeping. Am I in trouble? is not really telling me anything. I don't see any type of distortion. So, a deserted robotics lab.
still more. some kind of injury. this suit protection depleted seek shelter great All the it's still pirates. We need to get inside. interior to this place. Get inside. Look like anything valuable. I 
helmet display. Oh wait, cred stick. Nice. Now that is a find. I'm leaving this helmet. I don't have the carry capacity. So let's get back to scanning. It's a structure, but do you think this might be useful for us? Life signs. Oh, what's all this? Can I give you stuff? Hey. Let's trade. If you have any gear you want me to haul, I'm happy to help. Good. So what does this do? A basic boost pack. I'll let you take that too. Time to go? Can we steal this ship? Yeah. 
let me get up this ladder. Excuse me. to come back here for the anomaly another time. Look what I just got. Oh no, it's a category C. Wait, it looks like it's gonna let me fly it though. All right, strap in, Sarah. previous home ship has been added to my fleet to retrieve ships in your fleet that have you that you've left behind go to the ship services technician at any major city and ask to view the ships that you own from there you can cycle through the ships in your fleet and make home ship to retrieve it all right let's head home Contraband on here. Our scan detected contraband on board. Halt and prepare to be boarded. All illegal and stolen goods will be confiscated. You're on the wanted list. Halt and prepare to be boarded or we'll be forced to open fire. Oh, uh, let's see. All right, I guess I'll... Copy that. Stay on course while we escort you in. Yeah, I'll pay the fine. How can I help you, Captain? Captain. I need to get back to my ship. Contrary to what you might have heard, UC security personnel are good people. And Sergeant Yumi just happens to be an old friend. Ooh, look at the size of this thing. Go. Good to see you here. Captain now, Hill, do yeah. you require my assistance? Um, I need to do something about changing this ship out.
It's supposed I have time for a nap before we meet. Hmm? Wow, we still got dead bodies on here too. My ships is unregistered. You must register this ship before you can modify or upgrade. Okay, how do I register? Do I have the credits? like he's assigned oh yes I'm gonna assign you to the ellip elliptic stiletto This is everything that was in the, uh, the other ship. Should have checked the, the cargo, though, first for uh, contraband. I won't make that mistake again. Okay, well, I guess it's back to that planet now that we've got a new ship. Everyone, prepare for liftoff. This is your captain speaking.
lost it. Wait, is this it? Interesting in range? Uh, a gravitational anomaly. This is not native to this planet. Look at the carvings.
getting stronger. Wait. Temple Edda. Appears to be our destination. Is this the anomaly? It's gigantic. Oh, look at that architecture. Wow. Oh, are we under attack? as before. All right. I think it's time for us to get inside. <laughs> 